we fully expect to receive our batteries delivered at partial charge. So this Power Queen 100 amp hour battery arriving at 13.2 volts needs to be topped off. Of course, I'm just going to use the 110 wall outlet charger to top it off before we do some capacity tests. But what I really wanna show you in this video beyond the capacity test using my CBA5 is how do we charge this with the solar charge controller from Power Queen. Today's video is sponsored by G Gable Radio. Be sure to check out their link in the description below. Hey everyone, I'm Bob, KD4 BMG HOA Ham. Power Queen is one of those companies that's making high capacity, high quality lithium iron phosphate batteries available to us in something that's affordable. Maybe it's not quite in your price point yet, but for many of us, these went from, I'll never be able to afford this to, wow, that's a pretty good price for that much capacity. Thanks Power Queen for sending this to me for my use and review and so I can share it with my viewers. Power Queen provides very useful documentation. The quick start guide is helpful, but I strongly recommend reading the brief but sufficient product manual where you'll learn all about the specifications, the various charging methods, how to estimate capacity, connecting batteries in series and parallel, all the things you need to know to operate safely. And of course, Power Queen provides stickers. And if you're watching HOA Ham channel, you know I've got the Wall of Fame. Let's get a couple of stickers up there for Power Queen. I want charging to be easy, so I picked up this Quick Connect cable from Amazon, and then I'm making my final connection here at my 50 amp power poles. I'm using the Power Queen 14.610 amp charger, plugging that obviously into a wall outlet. This charger does have an LED indicator. It's red and orange while it's charging and green when completed. I'm not going to trust that setup, that alligator clip setup for when I'm doing the actual uh, power test, the discharge test. And by the way, those two side handles that fold down on this battery are phenomenal. They're so much better than that fabric strap. They just fold right down into the shape of the battery. They're very convenient. So here I'm doing a permanent connection, a semi-permanent connection with the bolts provided with the battery so that I can then connect my 50 amp power pole connector right to my CBA5. And that's what I'm going to use to do my power discharge test and make sure that this battery actually lives up to the rated capacity. We'll be discharging at a rate of 10 amps, meaning we have 10 hours to complete this test approximately, and then that'll tell us the full capacity of the battery. We've all become familiar with the usages for LifePo for batteries as this technology continues to develop. For me specifically, I think emergency preparedness, power outages, and powering my emergency equipment, my ham radio gear for communication. We also are familiar with the comparison these days, even at 100% discharge compared to 50% at lead acid, we still get a lifespan of 10 years compared to five years. So LifePo4 batteries are very economically priced to be able to give us a long service life and they weigh a lot less, they take up less space. So win, win, win. Of course, these batteries nowadays are built with a lot of protection, a lot of overs, overcharge protection, discharge over current, over temp, and that makes sure that we're operating in a safe environment. Back to that manual, read the manual, follow the manufacturer's instructions to use this battery in the appropriate and safe way. This Power Queen battery performed exactly like we would expect a life po for very consistent output to the very end, and then it just dives off the cliff. We have a 105 amp hour performance compared to a rated capacity of 100 and therefore we have a pass. Let's talk solar. While I was completing my charge using my 110 AC wall charger, I decided I'd go ahead and get ready to use that solar charge controller because once I deplete this battery using my CBA5, which you've already seen me do, I wanna charge it up using the solar controller because there's a lot of information you can get from this. So I need to custom make a cable. I just take a cable that I already had in my possession, chop the end off and put some ferrules on the end of it. Now I've had mixed success with these ferrules. If you use a ferrule that's too large, when you crimp down on it, the, the ends just get deformed. So you want something that's really tight when you first put it on, so when you get a crimp on it, the crimp 
um, yields a good result. And then you can stick these wires with the ferrule attached into the uh, appropriate slot on the charge controller. And then you can just torque down on it a little bit better than you would if you were just using the bare stranded wires. Now, I am interested uh, looking for some comments and feedback because I didn't find this to be as successful as I had hoped. It, it worked better than just jamming the stranded wires into the charge controller um, receptacles. But even when I torqued down on them, I really wasn't happy with how much these ferrules deformed. So if you have some experience with this, maybe make a comment uh, below. Tell me, are the different grades of quality with these ferrules? If I get the right kind, do they not deform even after you torque down on them? Or is deforming just what I should expect? I don't use these a lot, but uh, it is the appropriate way to go about this. So I'm looking for you to educate me. Please leave a comment below. Honestly speaking, I feel like I lose about four months of my life every summer. The Florida heat is unbearable. You have to choose a time you can go outside without being burnt to a crisp, without sweating profusely. And oh, then there's those lightning storms I have to dance around with all of my antenna testing. So when I can take something back from the sun and for free use it to charge up my batteries, I'm all about that. You can interchange gear. I'm using my All Powers solar panel. I'm using my Power Queen solar charge controller, and I'm charging uh, a Golden Mate battery. We'll get to the Power Queen battery here in just a second, but I want to show you something about charging solar. These connectors that come for solar charging can be very confusing, so I always attach my meter to this and make sure that my polarity is correct. When I get a negative sign, that tells me my positive and negative are transposed, and that's what helps me determine how I set these cables up correctly. Here you can see I've got a negative number, negative bad. Don't connect these cables wrong. Purchasing a 12.8 100 amp hour battery from a quality manufacturer like Power Queen is like buying a good new vehicle. There is the model, and then there are features you choose. One of the greatest features about this 12.8 volt 100 amp hour battery is it's the basic group 24 battery no frills when it comes to feedback via app that means you don't have some information that might be useful if you regularly use this with the charge controller from power queen then you get all the feedback that you're looking for and feedback is important to us we get to see the battery condition and then when we go and we hook it up to a solar panel we see all the information regarding power coming in charging state of the battery and then if we're actually hooking up to an inverter then we're going to see power out so one of the greatest advantages of using the charge controller is all the feedback information that we get after having experienced some of the worst back-to-back -back weather events during the entire seven years that we've lived here in this home in Tampa Bay, I can say a solution like this is absolutely crucial. Using this battery for a field day event and running my 100 watt radio all day long to my heart's content, making contact after contact, no problem. Having a solution for when you lose power for 12 hours, 24 hours, being able to connect it to a inverter, being able to get a solar panel out there and recharge it, absolutely critical. I'll leave some links in the description below in the event you're interested in any of this Power Queen gear. If there are any discounts, I'll leave that information as well. HOA ham stamp of approval on Power Queen. Hope you found this useful. I'll talk to you soon, friend. 73.